Hello there, in this video I'm gonna show you how to play the chords and accompaniment for the Hurdy Gurdy Polska. This is Vevlide Polskan from Gotland in Sweden and uh, it was traditionally played on the Hurdy Gurdy. But we're using like a very cool drop D tuning. So you're gonna get into some good like chord voicings here as well. And uh, it's really a good introduction to get into the drop D tuning. And we're now playing in the key of G. So yeah, a lot of cool, cool chord voicings coming your way here for the chords of Hurdy Gurdy Polska. My name is Magnus Sedlund and I help folk guitar players just like you get to the next level. If you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe because we have new videos like this coming out every week. Also, a little tip, hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. If you want to simplify the learning, inside the guitar club you find the sheet music tabs, the chord charts, for this tune, uh, play along tracks and some further instructions. So really go check that out as well. It's mandolinsecrets.com forward slash guitar. It's linked up in the description below as well. So when we're using the drop D tuning, it's not only for tunes in the key of D major or D minor, it's also suitable for this tune, for example, that is in the key of G major going to start the lesson with me playing through the, the tune two times and please have a close look on, on my fretting hand and you can see the different chord voicings that I'm using. I'm also in the B part of the tune, I'm a bit climbing up the neck a little bit but I'm going to break it down and also play it at a slower tempo but let's now have a look at the like, yeah my full performance of the tune. One, two, three. Yes, it's quite nice, right? And I want to mention here, I learned this from my guitar teacher, Jan Ekedal from Gotland, one of my really guitar heroes that really helped me a lot on my journey as a musician. So thanks Jan for this. And uh, let me now just demonstrate a little bit for the, the strumming hand and for the fretting hand, some small tips for you. 
So for the polska, we want to put like emphasis to the first and third beat of the measure. It comes like this: one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Like that. A good way to subdivide that 1 3 rhythm could be something like this. Keeping that rhythm almost for the entire accompaniment, like this. And for the some chord voicings here, there's a couple of ways to, to find a good G chord. And I'm using the G5 chord voicing here, looking like this. What I'm doing, I'm dampening off the fifth string here. We can also use this chord voice. But for this song right now, I'm using this mostly. The C5 chord voicing. Also a damped string here. D5, I'm using this one. And here I'm dampening off the top string with my fretting hand. For the B part, I'm doing this little movement. G to A minor. To G major with a B in the bottom to C. This creates a very nice line like Then I'm continuing to D then E minor We can go all the way to F sharp D chord with the F sharp in the bottom to G. But I think it's actually best explained in the song itself. So let me here play it at a slower tempo. It's 75 beats per minute. One, two, three.
right there you got it and i also would like to point out that the melody for the hurdy-gurdy polska is is eight bars long right but i kind of stretched out the accompaniment so instead of playing the same thing for the a part twice i'm i'm just like adjusting the very end there so stretching it out make it like a 16 bar phrase or what to call it so and that's a, a thing that I, I really want to pass on to you and that's something that you can use because uh, every time something repeats like this it might get like a little bit boring but uh, but just making that little change in the very end of the A part uh, gives it more like a forward momentum and, and that uh, makes it not boring sort of. And simply speaking what I'm, I'm doing there, instead of like uh, ending this going from D to D like that I'm so just adding that little thing in the last bar of the A part gives like a forward momentum so and the next time we're getting there we're really finishing off the A part with it and that's a trick that you can use for almost any fiddle tune and something I like doing a lot when playing rhythm. Yes, that's it for this lesson and always remember, use the technology, go back and play along with me in the fast tempo and vice versa so you can go between the fast and the slow. Uh, version just as you go and also let us know in the comment section below if you like this uh, chord voicings for the drop D tuning are you familiar with this chord voicings that I just played here let us know in the comment section below would be very interested to know as always if you like the video hit the thumbs up thank you so much for watching bye <music>